Welcome to Boiler House Garage and to part 7 of our testing for ethanol in super unleaded petrol. In this video we're taking a look at Texaco Supreme 97. Texaco have branded their super unleaded as Supreme Performance Plus 99, however at their two closest garages to me they're still dispensing Supreme 97. So for now we're testing the 97 and we'll look to test the new 99 octane if it becomes available to me. We're pouring 300 milliliters of water through 700 milliliters of the test petrol to detect E5 if the water line rises to 335 and E10 if it's at 370. If the petrol is ethanol free, the water line remains at 300. You'll notice this petrol is a darker yellow than the previous fuel, so perhaps this is an indicator to ethanol content. The immediate results show that the water line has risen, suggesting that there is ethanol present in this super unleaded. It's actually the first Super or Supreme Unleaded we've tested that has ethanol in it. However, it isn't currently reading near 335 mil. This is closer to 320. But as we've done with the previous tests, we will come back an hour later to allow it to settle. While we're waiting, please check out my referral links in the description below to receive up to $50 for free when you sign up to Nexo, a high interest savings platform for both fiat and cryptocurrencies and Crypto.com who offer fantastic cashback generating Visa cards that can substantially reduce your motoring costs. Please comment if you want to know more about these offers or need any help in applying. Now back to the Texaco Petrol. So an hour later we can see a much clearer separation line, however it is still at the 320 milliliter mark. This petrol is technically E2.5, although the E5 label does mean any amount of ethanol up to 5%, but it does make me wonder what additives are mixed to formulate Texaco Supreme Unleaded, and I assume it's mixed after ethanol has been added to their premium, premium being regular petrol, and that all their unleaded's are delivered in the same tanker. It would be interesting to see what level is in the Performance Plus 99 version if and when I can get hold of some. For now, those of us who don't wish to contaminate our classic cars with corn alcohol should avoid using Texaco's brand. 2% ethanol is unlikely to cause much water ingress, nor would it boil in a carbs float chamber on a hot day or if it's above an exhaust manifold, but it's better to push a market demand for ethanol-free petrol to discourage cronious government interference as well as absurd claims about environmental benefits. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.